We'll both save time if you'll phone the maritime office and talk to the harbormaster. I'm in no hurry. Oh, we are. Hey, I don't like this a bit. Now what's wrong? That signature. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Looks forged to me. Who'd you say you were? River police. So I better look at your uh, passport here again. You better give me another look at that identification you flashed on me. Hey, what's eating you? Too much double talk. You just tripped yourself up. Tubo, come here. Now, you're very happy man, yes? Yes. I mean, no. Here. Now, go on. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I don't know why he's on our backs. We got ourselves a phony official here, Tubo. How'd you find out about him? Tried to tell me my own signature was a forgery. Next time, you better take the trouble to find out who you're talking to. No, you don't. You can't bluff me. I got my credentials, and I'm taking these with me. Call a constable, Tubo. We better find out what this is all about. <laughs> I'd like to ask Mr. Wing a few questions first. Did we not make a deal? Maybe we should have shaken hands on it, Charlie. But this doesn't look like any decrepit old curio deal that you're asking us to smuggle out of England. Who do you think it is, Mr. Kelly? I don't know. But I got a hunch the police don't have any trouble identifying him. Hey, Tim. Remember those two? Well, a phony policeman and a blind Chinaman. Small world, Mr. Wong. It may be a small world, but one that I'm sure you would hate to leave, Mr. Kelly. I'm afraid you have no alternative but to serve us in this matter, whether you wish it or not. <laughs> What? What? 